The following segment is sponsored by Comprehensive Integrated Care. Today we are talking about a serious and important topic with our friends Dr. Ryan O'Hara and Andrea Slack from Comprehensive Integrated Care. Thank you both for being here. Thanks, yeah, thanks for having us. Great to see you both. Okay, Dr. O'Hara, today we're talking about an enlarged prostate or benign prostate hyperplasia. What is that and who does it typically affect? Right, so BPH or, or uh, benign prostate hyperplasia affects most men. So you can think of it kind of at, in terms of the decades. So in our 60s, there's, there are about 60% of men will have symptoms from an enlarged prostate. 70s, 70% will have symptoms from an enlarged prostate. So those symptoms um, are usually nocturia or having to urinate at night, uh, frequency, so urinating all the time, urgency, so when you need a bathroom, you need a bathroom now, uh, that type of thing. And it can be incredibly disruptive. So you can imagine if you're up at all hours uh, having to urinate, uh, you're not getting good sleep. If you're having to mm -hmm. look for a restroom all the time, then, then you're interrupted during your day. So it can be incredibly disruptive. Plus, it, it can be medically harmful long term as well. So men can suffer from recurrent urinary tract infections. Uh, it can damage the kidney or the urinary bladder over time. Is there anything we can do to prevent this? Um, prevention is a little bit tough. It, it usually um, can run in families. It's, it's usually genetic. And as I mentioned, it, it, it's found in most men as we age. Okay. Um, there are lots of treatments uh, for the uh, condition. Um, and something that we offer is called prostate artery embolization. Okay. Tell me what that is. So embolization is just a fancy term that means to block off the blood supply. Uh, to an organ. And as an interventional radiologist, I do embolizations all over the body for different conditions. In terms of prostate embolization, what we do is we block off part of the vasculature, the artery supplying the prostate. And the prostate is essentially a donut that lives right in front of the bladder. And as it grows, it constricts and blocks the outflow of the urinary bladder. Mm. When we shrink that donut, that donut hole enlarges and we relieve the obstruction on the donut uh, or on the, on the urinary bladder. Um, this is an outpa outpatient procedure. Um, so men don't have to go into the hospital. There's no overnight stay for it. There's minimal recovery, minimal side effects. Oh, that's good to know we, yeah. we have those options. And Andrea, how should someone go about getting more information or setting up an appointment with you guys? Okay, so um, anybody can call us at the clinic or they can log on to utahcac.com, caccenters.com. Um, don't need a, you know, a referral necessarily, but if you have questions, can call and we can get you those answers. Okay, answer all those questions. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you for the information, Dr. O'Hara. Andrea, great to see you both. Thank you for being here. Thank you.